Ladies and gentlemen, the countdown is officially on. One Sunday until the flight to the Mile High City. One Sunday until the flight to Denver, Colorado. One flight till the day before going home to podcast movement. That's right. My well, I actually had stopped before in Denver. I have been in Denver, but only in the airport for uh, the transfer to my next plane coming from Vegas. Uh, that was back in when I was when I used to live in Missouri. But uh, yeah, this time I actually get to actually stay in Denver. That's right. So the evasion is still on. The evasion, the homecoming. The pageantry that is Big D Country. Yes, this is your lover of weather. Hopefully soon to be president. Anyway, I got a rant and I got a, a couple of things, a couple of observations from uh, the part of SmackDown that has been shocking. Uh, so the first thing is congratulations to Rey Mysterio who won the uh, U.S. champion U.S. championship, uh, which was a big surprise on la- national live TV. Well, probably, I mean, it seemed like it's live, but then again, it probably couldn't be. I don't know, because uh, sometimes Raw and SmackDown are taped. Uh, but anyway, but yes, usually they don't they don't usually like people winning championships on a non pay per view, but it actually happened. It actually actually happened on SmackDown. Rey Mysterio became the U.S. champion. So, uh, in a press conference, was well, not a press conference, but in an interview with Kayla, uh, he said that he did it for the LWA family, and he said that he said that the uh, belt glued them together, and all that good stuff. So, what an impressive win for the legend, the six one nine, the icon, Rey Mysterio. Uh, another thing is, uh, the, the, well, what a way for Jay Uso to, uh, to go out after the, uh, the betrayal of a loss from, um, from the, uh, tribal combat, uh, he, he, uh, Jay Uso was betrayed by his brother, and then after finding out why, uh, his brother, uh, betrayed him. It was obvious that this town wasn't too big enough for the both of us. And, well, let's just say in WWE fashion, uh, Jay Uso was writing off, writing off the story. But here's the re- real reason. Jay Uso is going to be spending time with his family. Yep, that's right. Now, there may be a return. There may be a return. And there may be a, a, a and don't worry, there might be a Jimmy versus uh, Jay Uso match. Soon enough, when he returns, but right now he's gonna spend time with his family. But what an awesome way to to end the show. I mean, to end the uh end the run, uh for now. So, I mean, even even Edge is coming back. Even Edge is fun, coming back to fight uh Sheamus. On 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 TV on TV on TV not a pay per view on TV. Sheamus is going to fight the Rated R Superstar Edge on TV. Shocking. Shocking. I mean, if this is what's going to be next, free fights for all to see, free premiere fights, if this is what's going to be next, is this going to be the future of WWE? Is this is where it's going? Who knows? Who knows? It's so refreshing, you know? So refreshing, but anyway, uh, all right. So now to the seriousness of a couple of serious notes. Um, the death toll in Hawaii is almost nearing a hundred. The last time I checked, the death toll was ninety three in a terrible, terrible fire, the wildfire that it was gripping the island of Hawaii, and it's just so funny. It's just so funny about a month ago, a month or two ago. I didn't know if I was still here or at the hotel or whatever when I was. Then I got a letter from uh, Hawaii 
um, White Housing Authority that I was in the uh, that I was in the waiting list, and then the fire. Uh, why? 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 It might well be more than three years now because I mean, it's from, from the looks of the video that I saw, it looked like almost half the island's been destroyed. Or if it's not destroyed, there's no power nowhere. I mean, just devastation the way the the way the news showed. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It's abs absolutely ridiculous. See, the money that could have been spent in you, the money that was spent in Ukraine, could have helped people in Hawaii, could have helped people at home. All the money that we spend in Ukraine. I mean, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, anyway, here's the real, uh, here's the real reason why I came on today. But I just want to throw those out there because it's been, it's been really shocking. I usually do the rest of the pay per view with the sheriff, uh, but I might talk to him about the, uh, his thoughts on that when, uh, when it comes to payback. You know how he felt about the Jimmy thing, or uh, how he felt about Ray Mysterio. I want to ask him about that. So I hope he hears this podcast. So uh, get ready, Sheriff. Get ready. <laughs> but uh, yeah. So, oh boy. I mean, I, you know what? We got a problem. We definitely got a problem. So as you know, I've been here since May twenty second. Okay. After being in two separate extended stay hotels before coming here to Pathway. I don't have that many reactions to half of the house, but I only have a few reactions to um, the uh, the one of the night that the one of the rumors that just became a night of Big D country, and a Karen. But now the majority of the reactions came from the Karen. So I keep explaining to this, and mind you. I'm 49 years old. I'm old enough to be her, her, her godfather or grandfather, whatever like that. Her grandfather, yeah. I'm 49 years old. She's going to try to tell me, you know, that I can't talk loud. Going to tell me that I need to keep it down quiet. When I can't even stay quiet to, stay, to spend the day in my life in a solitude area. I mean, this is ridiculous. I can't even do that to save my life. Then she had to call Daphne because I knew it wasn't my roommate. And actually, one time, I actually did have my roommate, did he come knock on the door? Okay. And then she had the nerve to knock on the door like a police. She's not done it one. She's not done it two times. She's not done it three times. She's not done it four times. But I would count probably, including yesterday, five or six times, because she's done it once when I was talking to, matter of fact, a lot of times when I was talking to uh, Chief Justice and Chambers. But then there was a couple of times, now, except for the fact when um, uh, the good roommate, the night, as I say, the night uh, was bringing food, you know, just out the door to say the food is in the door, but a lot of times, a lot of times, the louder knock is the count. And I don't answer the door because I know it's like almost like ding dong ditch. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna play a brand new game here on Big D Country. It's called Knock Knock Ditch. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and let's play the game. In order to play Knock Knock Ditch, you must knock on your roommate door like you're the cop, hoping to hoping to answer the door and hoping to start an argument. If he answers the door, you can start an argument. But then there's another catch to the game. You can also play ghost. Yes, you can also play ghost. That's what the roommate, that's what the, well, not the roommate, but, well, she is the roommate, but still. That's what the Karen decide to do. She decide to play go. And then one time last night when I was in the bathroom, she tried to talk to me. I didn't want to hear nothing of it. I just went to my room because I didn't feel like calling an argument. It's too hot. We're in the middle of excessive heat warning. We have been doing triple digits for almost three freaking weeks. Almost three freaking weeks of necessity. They claim 14 days, but still, I don't know. I don't buy it. 
I don't buy it. Okay? It is too hot to be talking in the daytime. I'm on a fan on. I think last night the AC was on. It was so cold. Like I said, my favorite saying, it's been like I'm chilly, really. And I'm not going to back down. I am not. I am not going to be quiet for no reason. None. If you want quiet, go to the library. Go to the library. All right? So. Why does everybody want to kill me? Why does everybody want to see me dead? I mean, my God. This is ridiculous. You have to make this person who called me an asshole when I was on, when I had a problem overnight with the toilet. Who did, he was so lazy, didn't want to worry. Then he co cohens with the landlord. Then she went on his side. Then I was done. Now I'm here earlier than I was supposed to be. I could have made investment early. I just started like late, like when I invested in the Roots community, uh, the real estate, um, real estate company in Atlanta. And then I was the, the mobile, which is a phone company who is available in uh, Walmart, uh, Best Buy, Amazon. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. I'm old enough. I'm 49 freaking years old. I'm old enough to be a grandfather. I don't want to argue, okay? As a matter of fact, I'm leaving next Sunday. Okay? I am leaving next Sunday. You don't have to worry about me. Matter of fact, even when I come back to Houston, I'm going straight to Galveston. I've already deposited it. The, the other landlord already knows that I'm, of my arrival. They already know. I had to wind up changing my move out date on Passbit twice. Twice because of this Karen. Because originally, originally, I was going to move out here in October. Originally. Because I'm tired of being trapped in the heat, though. I was supposed to be enjoying the park. But with the heat and everything like that, I don't want to pass out because I passed out a couple of times. And then yesterday, you already know what happened yesterday. Yesterday, I woke up when I, when I went to uh, went to the restroom. It was almost like I couldn't breathe. I know what it was from. It was from the heat. I know what the hell it was from. And you're gonna have the gall to tell me that I can't talk to my friends because I'm too loud. You're gonna have the gall to tell me I'm not allowed to have. And this is a Saturday. This latest incident. This was a Saturday. A Saturday. Put the weekdays aside, okay? She done that before. She would done that when I was playing games. Again, I will say this until I'm blue in the face. Games are only played at night. N I G H T. The only reason that, that you were so lucky this week is because Nick had to go in his garage sale for a week. That was the only reason why. That was the only reason why there was no game. And you had almost literally had to play to yourself, uh, to yourself until I go to Chambers with the Chief Justice. Other than that, you had to you had the whole thing, you had the whole quietness to yourself. I only play game at night. I can't talk on the phone during the day because we had days. Of 100 degree temperatures. Let me tell, see what, what it is now. Right now, yeah, it made it again. Again, 100 degree weather. As I podcast right now, 100 degrees again. I am sick and tired of this 100 degree weather. I'm about to snap. I'm literally about to fucking snap. I can't stand it. I just can't stand it. I gotta get ready for a, I gotta get ready for a convention. I gotta get ready to go to a convention next week. Well, not next week, but the week after next week. You know what I mean? The twentieth is next Sunday. This makes me so mad. I'm gonna talk to whoever I want to talk to. Okay. I mean, I'm not fighting. 
not doing anything that I'm not supposed to, just having fun, just playing games, just watching television, whatever, just having normal fun, just having normal fun. No wonder why Karen's are having a bad rap. They have videos on Karen getting arrested. They have videos on Karen disrupting plane. They have videos on Karen uh uh being being disrupted at the airport. Or Karen doing this, Karen doing that. Well now, I have a Karen in my life. Why me? Why me? I mean this is really ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Why has it gotta be me? I'm not allowed to live. I'm not allowed to have fun. I mean, why don't you put me in the box and bury me or something already? Well, I was trying to do six track, but, you know. But my God! Why do you always have to do this? Always. I mean, if I, hell, if I would have had my way, but to go back and forth to Gaveston from the airport, to, I'm trying to say, because the way to get back and forth to Galveston from IAH is like close to $80, 70 or $80, give or take. Give or take. All right. All right. So, and then I need the money to go back. No, I need the money to go to Galveston when I come back to Texas. And thankfully, it's in the afternoon. Like, I, I land at 150, and well, of course, I didn't get my bag, but of course, I land at 150, and I probably won't get there. Like, oh, probably, let's say, just say, uh, in the ballpark, probably three o'clock, three, three thirty, four o'clock. But anyway, regardless, regardless. I'm 50 years old. You don't talk to anybody. And then I remember the first thing then. She, she, she had to go to tell me that I don't I don't get that people uh, people work at different times. Well, okay. I said that in the previous program. But you don't do that in the freaking weekend. This is the weekend. Okay? I'm going to talk to my friends. They're my friends, not yours. Not yours. All right? You don't ruin my life. You don't run my life. I am fit, well, close to 50 years old. I'll be 50 in November. 50 country turns 50 in November. I'm so mad at this Karen, I don't know what to do. I mean, I knew I was going to do a rant on this Karen, but I'm so mad at this Karen, I don't know what to do anymore. I mean, this is ridiculous. This is absolutely insane. I see, see I crossed the line, and it's absolutely crazy. You know, having fun with Chief Justice, for watching the show, for having a good time. Here comes knocking on the desk. Oh, because I'm too loud. I'm a loud mouth. I'll say it again. I can't be quiet to save my life. Even if I, if I was in a hostage I would be dead because I can't be quiet. I would be dead if I was a hostage. Because I can't be quiet. They, they, like when you're in a hostage situation, like, uh, sitting on the floor, be quiet, all like that, yada, yada, yada. I would be dead because I can't be quiet. That's right. So the answer is no! I won't be quiet. No! If you want to come quiet, go to a go to a convent or something. If you want to quiet, go to the a, a convent a conventory or whatever whatever it is you call it. All right. Again. Again. I only talk on the phone at night. Like I said, it, we're in a hundred freaking degrees out here. A hundred freaking degree every fucking day, every day. A hundred degrees every day. 
I'm tired of this. I'm tired of the Karen again. I'm about to snap. You have been my cancer ever since we had the first interaction of the, of the uh, when you would tell me that I can't have fun. I can't, I can't do games that night. I can't talk to my friend. I can't do that. I can't do that. But you might as well tell me I can't even pray. Because that's what you're doing. You might as well tell me that I can't even fucking pray. Ah! I've already had no way to throw bottles. Because that used to be my common mechanism. I used, when I was at the, the old second palace. The former second palace. I used to throw bottles. I can't do that anymore. I don't have that. There's too many people. Okay? Can't have that. So there goes my neck mechanism. The only way to, the only way mechanism I had is to do this show. That's my only common mechanism. I'm gonna go because this is, this has already been a long ran with the stories in between. But I had to do those stories. But I'm going to do a special NFL, uh, well, not NFL pickup, but I'm going to try to do a special NFL pickup preview uh, with a story that I uh, found about a uh, uh, the Texas governor has something to say to a Texas quarterback at Podcast Movement. That's right. I'm going to do the story at Podcast Movement. Probably in, in the hotel. I don't know. Nobody... Is gonna run my life. Nobody! Karen! You're fired!